Tag auch, hier ist Marius aus Hamburg. Disclaimer. I can't guarantee that the following simulations are 100% correct because I didn't measure myself, I just relied on the data provided by the manufacturer. To be fully sure that this simulation is correct, you should measure yourself. I already did virtual experiments some time ago with the driver Kirby Meets Audio used in his Firefly Jar Bluetooth speaker. It's the Visaton FR58. Therefore, my first thoughts when I saw the video was, with that small baffle, the frequency response will have a huge bump in the mids. And I guessed right, as you can see here. My first idea for a correction network with a high shelf filter in series and a series RCL filter in parallel to the driver didn't work because the impedance fell to 2.3 ohms at 2 kHz, an amplifier death trap. So I tried a parallel bandstop filter and a high shelf filter both in series to the driver, version 1. The result looks promising. The small ramp at the high frequencies is to compensate for the absorption of the cloth in front of the driver. This of course depends on the type of cloth used. This version has the disadvantage of two coils and their unwanted resistance in series with the driver. It either slightly rises the cost of the network, about $7 per pair, through more expensive coils with low resistance or lowest the base performance. A cheaper but a bit more complicated network, around 21 euros per pair in total, didn't have these disadvantages and nearly brought the same result. This graph shows both versions in comparison. You'll find a link to the box and project files in the description below if you like to play around by yourself. Thank you for watching.